What is going on, guys? Let me fix my mic. It is You Know You Know here. Back again with another video. And today we are reading some more Hell's Paradise. We're in chapter 53. And yeah, let's hop into it. I'm not even going to waste any time. Let's go. Away with you. I was hoping to dissect you from uh, my research, but I'm in no mood to anguish another life at this point. Oh, dang. He said, and then the monster actually went away. Oh. First, uh, Sir Fucci. Thank goodness. Is she not feeling well? What's wrong? May isn't feeling so well. We thought at first it was uh, simply exhausted, uh, simply exhausted, but she cannot seem to recover her strength. Given your knowledge of the medical arts, perhaps you can help. To start with, wasn't she a little girl not too long ago? What the heck is she, really? She's the la uh, same as Lord Tenza, according to the Doshi Prius. We also witnessed her use a bizarre ability, the same as the monster we defeated. Limited though my resources are, I should be able to concoct a simple fever reducer. And in return, May, you will tell us everything you know about yourself and Lord Tenson. Can she like articulate that? The deaf and uh, one of my comrades have opened my eyes to the gravity of the situation. What are you, pe uh, what are you people? How did you come about? What do you seek? Depending on your answers, I may deem you as unforg as an unforgivable monster as well. I, um, hang on now. How are you going to get an explanation from a girl who could barely string two words together? Fair point. Okay. I was going to say, mind your manners, you two. But worry not. I'm already skilled at interpreting for her. While I do that, would you compound the medicine, Saji? Uh, Sagi? And they go outside and they see Gabi Maro. It looks like he's meditating. Summoning all of us here. What's the big deal, Tiny Maru? Oh, wait, he summoned him here. My memories have returned to me, but my senses for battle has dulled. So, oh, they're about to train. I like to warm up some uh, with some sparring partners. Are you kidding me? You're asking us to go all out on you at once? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, well, I'm no punching bag. You too. You got more reason to despise me more than anyone else here. Uh, you want me dead. Then show me that bloodlust. Wait. If you're scheming to do something on towards while under the guise of training, I am prepared to cut you down. And I'll follow my and I'll follow Master's lead. Lil Naru guy got buffer. Like her design, like she was like cool, and then she just started getting buffer, so she's like learning quick. And this is only like three days, right? Here, pretty boy, my blade is all yours. Cause my fist is itching to beat him bloody. Oh, <laughs> The first Doshi and Asa Chobi, I learned a lot from those two battles. Allowing oneself to drown in the power of Tayo is risky, but I didn't uh, I didn't stand a chance be uh, of beating those two without wielding Tayo, as Lord Tenzin uh, represents a higher hurdle than that. I have to figure out how to use it properly. Look at him, he's about to get ready. I like this, I like this panel right here. It is a nice drawing of him. Thank you for agreeing to spar with me. Oh. You'll be eating your those words, and they all charge to him, so quick. And he dodges Toma easily, and already a dub that's swinging around the blade dragon's uh, mat, the blade dragon's massive weapon. Don't track him by sight. Oh, he's trying to feel him, feel him with Taya. Ooh, look at him. Okay, okay. And he flings him, and he falls to the ground. Toma falls to the ground. Toma gets back up, and then we got the Dragon Master right behind him. Oh, oh, yo, hold up. He backflips with his arm. Okay. As his arm's coming down, he backflips with it. Against those muscles, brute force wouldn't cut it. So, and he like does like a little kick tap to him. Nah. Even a weak strike can prove efficient if aim at a vile tile point. <sighs> okay. Okay, Gabimaro got the hang of it now. Wait, Naru guy. But this is just another reminder. Oh crap, let me blur it. Just in case. Alright. Okay. Alright, alright. Uh, this is just another reminder that we have no hope of matching with Lord Tenzin's tile. 
These monsters had spent millennia, uh, a millennium honing their tayo and wield far uh, more of it, more efficiently than mere human ever could. In which case, wait, oh, oh Shion grabs, uh, no, wait, no, Gabimaru grabs Narugai back. And it looks like he hits all of them with Narugai. We take advantage of the enemy's tile. Hmm? I gotta see what he figured out. The faster the toy top spins, the more violent it gets, repelled by another. S oh, excuse me. Similarly to an unimaginable powerful enemy, it's open to having their power used against them. Making use of Lord Tenzin's Tayo could be the key to our counter strategy. Wow, you're totally strong enough to tear Lord Tenzin apart. Not yet. I still got a mountain's worth of work to do. Oh, and he stands up. All done with your warm up, shrimp. Then let's get serious. Comes in. Did he punch him? It looks like he punched him. I can't tell with this angle. Stand down. Our true enemy is Lord Tenzin. Silence. I've, uh, I'm sure, been hearing a lot about this Lord Tenzin. And the more I hear, the less I know. Lord Tenzin and the island itself were created by the same person, so she claims. A certain frame, Hoshi, the one who used what Shin, Shin, Shin Saxian or Shinxian uh, principles to research the secrets of immortality. So Hoshi is the ancient Chinese uh, mystic verse and divination uh, and healing arts. According to Taoism, the body and the mind are all of creation, are given form by the energy called Tao. This particular Hoshi developed the methods uh, to tinker with Tayo directly. He created crossbreeders of the he created gosh he created crossbreeds of creatures with similar Tayo. He dissembles them with a pinch uh, and pinched them together, with every experiment aimed at achieving immortality. Thus, Lord Tenzin was born. A fusion of human and plant Tayo that is once both male and female, capable of uh, argumenting Tayo via the flow of yin and yang without a partner. Life forms ordinarily use Tayo over time and with and gosh and with use, but Lord Tenza has Tayo uh Lord Tenza Tayo has been polished for thousands of years now, honed far beyond the scope of human ability. There is, however, one way we can stand against him. Oh, and they think about the Shion. So, why are these superpower things hiding out on a remote island? Taiwa's claims that the me that meditation and certain breathing techniques allow one to achieve more immortality. This training is called the Inner Way of Ten. Zoom in. Come on, Viz. Okay. There can also be external ways for anyone to become undying, regardless of innate qualities or training. An elixir would be such an external outer uh, outer way of tan. On this island, Lord Tenza endeavors to create such a uh, uh, potion. Eh? You mean to say, the elixir of life? So it's real. In development, I suppose. One of my others is researching that. Uh, though, it's far from perfect just yet. Uh, what they call Tan is a prototype born of that research. They have discovered how to harvest human life, like much, uh, like uh, so much nectar, extracting that tie of uh, that life force. In this way, they add their own lifespan and um, and uh, gosh, and virtually rob from others. Though it doesn't seem as uh, if Tan has the same effect when consumed by ordinary humans. Because Lord Tenzin extends their lives with Tan, we can assume that they do not possess endless Tayo otherwise. They will die if their Tayo depleted, uh, is depleted quickly and severely, and, gosh, and severely enough. But if they're living off this Tan stuff, just fine already. Why go through all the trouble researching an elixir that can turn anyone immortal? Do not know. Maybe the will of Zifu. Zufu or Zufu? Zufu? Who's that? The Hoshi who created Lord Tenzin in this island. Huh. You never heard of Zufu? In Japan, we know him as Jufunku. He once served the emperor of the Quin dynasty researching immortality. Some say his journey ended in Japan. Well, over 1,000 years ago. 
but perhaps he continued his research to this day on this very island. But it's so much mystery in this manga. It's crazy. It's crazy. But that was a pretty good chapter. I like how Gabi Mars really getting the flow of everything. I think that's really cool. That he's like understand Tayo to to his degree. And I think that's really cool. Anyway, if you guys want to see the next chapter, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification. That way you'll know when it's out. If you like this video, give it a like. If not, give it a dislike. It doesn't really matter to me. If you want to see more of me, catch me out on Twitter. If you know, you know. And until then, you know where to find you know.